Now I've got a couple of rules when it comes to using a table saw. I keep these as far away from the blade as possible, and I never push directly toward a spinning blade. That means for a cut like this, I'm going to be using a push stick. Now I have a variety of push sticks, some homemade and some store-bought. But I've noticed they all have one thing in common. To use them, my hand has to pass over the running blade in order for me to complete the cut, sometimes uncomfortably close to that blade. But not all push sticks are created equal. A friend of mine has invented a new design that's more comfortable, more controllable, and most important of all, safer. Kevin, how did you come up with an idea for a push stick like this? Well, Ryan, back in the, in the late 70s, I, uh, I had a table saw accident myself where I injured my right hand pretty badly. used to use a a little stick like, like, this, like one? this one I made out of some scrap lumber. My uncle happened to hand me down one of his old hand saws. One day I said, gee, wouldn't that make a nice, a nice handle for that crummy old stick that you've been using? So and you sort uh, of married up the push stick, the old push stick, with a saw handle. With the handle, And yeah. you came up with this. That's all, yeah, and just kind of played with the angles and the lines a little bit till it, till it felt right and it, and it looked right. What I like about Kevin's push stick is that it allows me to keep my hand much further from the blade than most. It gives me good control and, most importantly, permits me to finish my cut without having to pass my hand above the blade. Are you trying to help people uh, avoid the kind of accident that you had? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely try to avoid that because I know how fast it can happen. I had a lot of plans that Saturday morning and they would turn around in a split second. So if you'd like to learn a bit more about Kevin's push stick or possibly get one for yourself, check it out at ronhazelton.com.